Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about MAC again. So MAC has another collection out. We recently talked about the It's a Strike collection and there were three polishes in there. And today we're going to be talking about the three polishes in the MAC Star Trek collection. And this collection is helping Star Trek to celebrate its 50th anniversary. So there are three beautiful metallic shades in here. We have some varying formulas though, so they're not just going to be straight up all the same thing. I'm going to be sharing with you live application as I always do on my channel. If you're new to my channel, we just talk nail polish all day long every day. That's basically all we do here because we are all obsessed with nail polish here. And so I give you live applications so that you can actually see how these are going on my nails. You're not just reading a blog post to see, you know, pictures of something, although that is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous too. But the purpose of this channel is to show you how they apply so that you know before you purchase exactly what these are going to look like applying on your nails. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. First, I want to talk about packaging. The packaging on these were really cute. So the bottles first off are typical MAC polish bottles and then they have this cute um, Star Trek symbol on there with a 5-0 to celebrate their 50th anniversary and then the boxes have the same thing. So on the outside we have the same thing and then um, on the inside as well. It's so fun. There's little 50s with the um, insignia there. It's just so, so cute. It's definitely a keepsake for a Star Trek fan. So definitely, definitely a keeper. I was really impressed with that. So I did spot these in my local Macy's and at the same time I was looking at the It's a Strike collection. The two collections did come out fairly close together and I was thinking I have never reviewed MAC polishes for my subscribers. Let's go ahead and check them out together. I was really excited and happy with the formula on the three polishes from the It's a Strike collection and I have to say I was equally as excited about these ones but for different reasons. They're totally different formulas. We've got some really interesting things here and I think it's extra fun for anybody who is a major Star Trek fan that now you have some nail polish specifically dedicated to Star Trek. So the first polish today is a beautiful silver metallic and this one is called Enterprise and as with most silvers that are a kind of liquid metal looking finish on the nail. This goes on nicely in one to two coats. This is pretty good. Um, lots of silvers that are in the same kind of formula can get opaque at just one coat. This one I felt like you did need two. It wasn't necessarily a letdown, but I felt like um, a lot of drugstore brands can actually do it in just one coat. So I felt like they probably could have pushed themselves maybe a little bit more with this one. However, it is really gorgeous. It has a beautiful finish at two coats. Um, but you can find something identical to this in the drugstore. So if you aren't collecting the whole collection for, you know, collection's sake, I would say you could probably pass on this one. So after swatching that first one, I thought that this second one might be the same thing, but it's not. This one is called Holodeck, and this one is a gold, kind of more of a gold foiled look on the nail because it has the gold metallic base, but it also has very um, small gold flakies in there of a slightly different hue so it gives a little bit variated look on the nail. I really enjoyed this a lot, in fact a lot more than the silver one. Not that I didn't enjoy the silver, I just felt like this one was more inventive and much more interesting. Also the shade of gold is one that I really enjoy. I really prefer this kind of shade that's going a little bit bronzy. I think that that's really pretty so definitely enjoyed this. It's great at two coats. Loved it. Alright guys, so we are down to the last one. This is the one that I've had on my nails in this video. This polish is really, really cool. So this, it's probably the showpiece of the collection, but I feel like there are some people that are really not going to like this, and some people that will really love it, because it is, it is a cool concept. However, you may take issue with how this looks on the nail. So let's just get into it. This is called Skin of Evil. And it does, it kind of looks like reptilian skin or something on the nail. What it is, is it's kind of a very, very sheer, tealy blue base, but that's very sheer and it has like teal blue iridescence in it. And then on top of that, it's packed with gold shimmer, which you can see on my nail right there. It kind of looks like I'm wearing a gold polish, but it's not really. It's just like a kind of duochrome metallic effect. But then it also has um, micro black glitters in there and slightly larger hex glitters in there. And what happens is whenever you put um, glitter in mixed in with some kind of shimmer or metallic quality, it tends to make the nail look unforgivably bumpy in my opinion. If you're thinking along the lines of OPI's glitters where they mix glitters and metallic polishes, specifically the Starlight Collection, that's what I'm talking about. This kind of does that same thing. 
I did think this was really pretty, but I know a lot of people are going to think this just looks too bumpy on the nail and they probably wouldn't wear this very often. However, on the flip side, it's very inventive. It's definitely a polish I have never seen before, so I am happy about that. And the color combo is really cool. I love the flashes between those two colors. It's a very flashy shade. It's very Star Trek. It's just very, very cool. Is it going to be everybody's cup of tea? Absolutely not. You can put a couple to coats of top coat on this and you're still not really going to get it as level as you want. So um, yeah, I think this one is going to be a little bit dividing. So you take a look. I mean, you have by now. <laughs> I've swatched it for you by now. What do you think? Is this something you would wear? You can let me know in the comments below. I think for serious Star Trek fans though, you might want this one for collection sake because it is the most interesting out of the batch. So anyway, that is Skin of Evil. And those were all three polishes in this collection. I thought it was really fun that MAC combined with Star Trek. I have overall been super pleased with all six polishes that I've reviewed from MAC. So if MAC ever does have another collection come out that has more than one polish, you know, another one that has three, I will make sure to pick it up and review it for you. So I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, you can give my video a thumbs up. You can subscribe. That way you won't miss any more videos like this one. And I think that's it. So I will see you back for my next review. Take care, everybody. Bye. So the first one ever that we're going to talk about from the Gel Couture line, this is called Turn and Pose. And it's a very beautiful, deep, kind of dusty blackberry. It's not as as deep as if they hadn't put any white in here at all. Um, it's so beautiful 